I am in conversation with one of the world's uh, foremost AI scientists and some would even call him a rock star in the AI space, uh, Pushmeet Kohli, who is Vice President of uh, Google DeepMind. Thank you so much, Pushmeet, for speaking to me, taking out the time. Uh, let me start by asking you that uh, did you expect uh, the conversations around AI to be that frequent um, and not just in your innovation labs but uh, across as I said whether in boardrooms or even now in campuses one hears the word AI more often than not? Yeah, first of all thanks for having me. I mean it uh, the whole field of machine learning as we used to call it and AI definitely has had uh, a whole transformation in the last two decades. Uh, I remember uh, when I was uh, starting my sort of research in this topic, it was very much uh, a topic of uh, deep mathematical research and uh, the conferences used to have 50 to 100 scientists coming together and sort of uh, exchanging notes. It's definitely not uh, the same uh, scientific <laughs> conference anymore. It's, uh, it has become quite mainstream and for the right reasons. Uh, it is going to have uh, impact on the world in various different ways. Uh, we are already seeing uh, the potential it has to really advance and accelerate science that uh, my team particularly uh, at, uh, at Google sort of uh, has uh, done a lot of work on. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's exciting times. Indeed, what got you into machine learning? As you said, you know, 20 years back when you would have started, this was an area where probably, you know, a few scientists would be working with most people or laymen like me uh, and large part of our viewers probably not really aware of, you know, the contribution this could have or the impact down the line it could create. Yeah, so um, I started um Working in this area, mostly as an optimization researcher, I was interested in deep optimization problems that are encountered uh, when you are trying to solve problems in computer vision and computer graphics and information retrieval. And uh, what we realized is that this data focused approach where instead of programming the system to do something, if you allow the, uh, the system to learn by itself from the data, it could come up with some very surprising sort of results which were much, much better than what uh, you had programmed it for. So that uh, whole paradigm of machine learning and sort of learning from data really brought home to me the fact that uh, this is going to be a transformative technology and will uh, unlock progress in a number of important problems that uh, we are trying to solve. Indeed. Uh, and you know, before we come to the specifics in terms of, you know, its impact on education or life sciences and, you know, uh, medical research, uh, even even areas like uh, automobiles. Mm -hmm. uh, before we, we dive into any of that, I have to ask you, you know, a larger big picture question, you know, mm -hmm. as someone who is an AI scientist, what is your goal in terms of, you know, when you approach uh, a, a technological breakthrough, what would you envisage AI to really achieve? Yeah, so one of the things that I think uh, where we definitely need AI for is to unlock uh, some of the mysteries of nature, um, especially in science. In many areas of science, whether it's biology, whether it's chemistry, physics, we need deep breakthroughs. Our civilization is facing a number of uh, sort of challenges. We saw it with the pandemic yes. that our understanding of biology is quite limited. Mm. We are seeing it with climate change that our understanding of the physical systems is, uh, is limited. We are facing a huge energy crunch yeah. and we need new sources of sustainable energy. So uh, if you look at all these different problems, what is underlying it is a need for deep technological and scientific breakthroughs. And I think this is where AI comes into the picture. 